The Indian Space Research Organization has successfully launched its smallest commercial rocket satellite launch vehicle to put two satellites in Earth's orbit. All stages were performed as expected. However, loss of data was observed during the terminal stage, which is being analyzed. Now, the mission marks India's presence in the small satellite launch market. The 34-meter small satellite launch vehicle is capable of carrying payloads of up to 500 kilograms into 500 kilometer uh, planet orbit. Now, the SSLVD-1, which took off from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in the southeastern state of Andhra Pradesh, will place in orbit the 145 kilogram Earth observation, two satellite, and the Azadit Sat. But what makes this launch more interesting is the fact that the Azadit Sat is designed by students, mostly girls, from government schools across the country. The launch marks the 75th anniversary of India's independence. The satellite has 75 different payloads, each weighing around 50 grams and conducting the uh, FEMSO experiments. These payloads were built by students from rural regions across the country. The payloads are integrated by the student team of Space Kids India, which is an aerospace company. The firm says this is the first of its kind space mission, with an all-woman concept and promotes the idea of encouraging women in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics sectors. Now, for more on this, our correspondent, Siddharth MP, has sent us this report from Sriharikota, which is in the southern Indian state of Andhra Pradesh. Take a look. The mission outcome of the maiden launch of India's small satellite launch vehicle launched by the Indian Space Research Organization remains uncertain. So after the successful liftoff from Sri Harikota here, in fact it was a majestic liftoff and it was something that thousands of people watched from the gallery here. But what happened is the three stages of the rocket performed exceedingly well. In fact, uh, Chairman Somnath said that the three stages performed normally and as planned. So the, we're talking about three solid stages of the rocket and these are the major stages of the rocket that contribute to taking the the payload of the satellites to space. But what happens after that is the vehicle is in its terminal phase where in the final stage there's something known as a velocity trimming module. It's a small thruster based on how satellite thrusters work and this velocity trim trimming module is responsible for ejecting the satellites into the desired orbits. At that point of time what seems to have occurred is according to ISRO there was some data loss and they are not able to understand the fate of the vehicle or of the satellite ejection. So ISRO's chairman has said that we'll have to wait for some time to analyze the data to clearly point out what is the status of the mission and what happened to the rocket and the satellites. It's important to recall that this is the first launch of the SSLV and there are huge hopes pinned on this vehicle. But at the same time, in rocket science, it's important to remember that uh, failures are not new and it is only through failures that uh, rocket science has evolved and it is only after encountering multiple failures that ISRO has become the agency that it has become today. And that is what also leads to successes and more lessons. From Sri Harikota, this is Siddharth MP. We on World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.